Okay, so while we're talking about camshafts, this is the Takagawa camshaft in here, and this little plate right here. So this is the camshaft cover plate. Okay, and this is what holds down your rocker arm shafts, and also seals right around the bearing on the camshaft. And it's a 10 millimeter bolt in there. Okay, and it is torque spec, I believe is eight foot pounds. Um, you just don't want to go ham on it. It's not very much. I, I would suggest using Loctite on there. It's something that's inside there. Okay, so I'm, showing, I'm gonna show you how to disassemble this so you can take notes here. Now this little plate on it, it says out on one side. That means it's facing out, okay? It can only go one way. And then your rocker arms are going to be labeled intake with an I, exhaust with an E. So there you can see we got the little plate off. Okay. So take this little rag and just clean it up just a little bit. And you may see metal shavings on here. I mean, this is up inside the head, so it is going to collect some junk on here. Okay, so clean it up as best you can. This plate is designed to sit there. It is not designed to move around. So this should be down tight. I'm going to go to pull it out. Okay, so we'll clean it up a little bit. You can see one side says... Let's see if the camera focus. One side says out. Okay, that side is going to go out. So it's going to sit in here. Just like this. If you're looking at the head like this at the top where it says out, you should be able to read it. Okay, so top of your head here, or the front of your head, I guess. Now the way the head sits on the bike is like this. This is your intake, exhaust on the bottom. You can change your camshaft without draining your oil and without taking the head off the bike. Obviously we're doing more work here, so the head is off the bike. Now these shafts, we're going to take these covers off. Okay. Those covers are 8 mil. I already got them loosened up. Okay, so we're going to take these little inspection covers off. Okay. Take these inspection covers off. These are going to be your rocker arms underneath here. We'll set those aside. Be very careful with these guys. Don't break nothing. And remember, inside where those shafts are, there is a uh, needle bearing. So you want to be extremely delicate when you uh, take that out. Okay, now we have that apart. So we're gonna start out. Now remember, these protrude just a hair. So don't go laying this thing on its side and bending that. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tip it on its side and we're gonna reach inside here and we're gonna pull this intake shaft out very carefully. Make sure your cam is Roll, the camshaft is rolled just a little bit so it's not going to break nothing or so it's uh, loose you should be able to spin that little shaft in there okay, and it is going to be a pain in the ass to get out see it's the pliers okay you just want to take your time Should we pull nice and straight. There it goes. Okay, that is the intake side. Okay. 
Yeah, you gotta be very, very careful pulling this guy out. Remember, there is that little bearing sitting in there. And there's the little bearing. Set him aside. And set him right back in this little arm. Okay, so there's the there's your rocker arm. This is the intake side. As you can see, there's a little tiny needle bearing set up in here. Okay, so be very careful. You do not want this thing banging around inside that head. As you can see, when I pulled this arm out, that bearing slipped down and fell inside there. I just tipped it over and dumped it out nice and slow and fished it out of there without damaging it. Don't use pliers to try to grab it or anything. If these break, you're screwed. You are going to be ordering new ones. There is no repairing these little needle bearings. Okay, and you can see here the eye. That lets you know that that is the intake side. Okay. You can see here what I've done is I've taken my little paper towel here. And we labeled everything. So intake cap, exhaust cap, they're both the same, but this one is all marred up because it's on the bottom of the motor. So we'll leave it where it came out of. Okay, now we're going to pull, and then here's our little shaft. Now we are going to pull the exhaust side out. Okay. There's a little shaft for the exhaust side. Okay. There you go. The E for exhaust. Okay, and roller bearing. The rollers look really nice, but they're in really good condition. Okay, obviously they have a hole down here on the bottom that is so they can get oil in there to those bearings. Okay, so this is your little tappet here. Okay, so now, now that we have that out, you have to take that out to get your camshaft out. Your camshaft will not come out with those in because you're, you'll slide your, basically that back load will hit against this front arm okay and then it'll be a bitch to get back in there so we're at top dead center we're gonna pull we're gonna pull upward turn just a little don't bang it around and there you go there is the Takagawa camshaft again this is about a this is about a hundred and twenty dollar camshaft uh the coso one right around the same price okay <laughs>